dinosaurs ruled the earth for over 165 million years. However, there were many animals that lived before, during, and after that were just as formidable. We've picked 72 that dominate the others. In this show, we will talk about these dangerous animals, including when they lived, what they ate, their weaponry, and how humans would fare if these creatures were still alive. From the largest venomous animal of all time, to birds that could take out animals 30 times their weight, to a pterosaur that could kill a T-Rex, this is 72 Dangerous Animals Prehistory. Arctodus was up to 8 feet long and up to 13 feet tall when standing on its hind limbs. Females weighed around 1,100 pounds and males weighed up to 2,200 pounds. It lived 2.5 million years ago to 12,000 years ago in North America. Arctodus was the second largest bear of all time after Arctotherium angustidens. It was actually an omnivore, like modern brown and black bears, rather than a true carnivore. Additionally, Arctodus did not have binocular vision, a trait of true predators. Arctodus fed on deer, camels, bison, ground sloths, and tapir, as well as some plants. Arctodus was sexually dimorphic, with males being much larger than females. Males weighed half a ton more than females. Male Arctodus had large sagittal crests, while females had greatly reduced or no sagittal crest. It is assumed Arctodus hibernated just like modern North American bears. One swipe from its large claws and powerful limbs would decapitate you. Arctodus takes first place for now. Incoming, the largest terror bird. Kalenkin was up to 10 feet tall and weighed up to 500 pounds. It lived around 15 million years ago in Patagonia. Kalenkin was the largest terror bird of all time. It could run over 30 miles per hour to chase down prey. It lived in the open plains. It would kill its prey by hammering it in the head repeatedly with its beak, or by stomping on it. Kalenkin's kick would have been able to break bones and cut its prey open using its large, hooked talons. It is hypothesized that Kalenkin would have killed prey the size of modern gazelle, and possibly even targeted glyptodonts. Its head has been estimated at up to 3 feet long, although the skull found was only 2.3 feet long. It had large brow ridges on its skull, which would have helped shield its eyes from the sun, as well as providing it with excellent eyesight like modern eagles. This bird would have taken out humans with a violent kick or caved in your skull with repeated blows from its beak. Kalenkin may have been fierce, but it's no match for Arctodus's sheer power. It takes number two. Up next, our list's final Mosasaur. Platycarpus reached lengths of up to 24 feet long and weighed up to 2,000 pounds. It lived 84 to 81 million years ago in Kansas. Platycarpus had a shortened skull and few teeth compared to other Mosasaurs. It fed on medium-sized fish, squid, and ammonites. Platycarpus skeletons from Kansas were so well preserved that internal organs were preserved, which is extremely rare with fossils. In fact, its blood was even preserved. The discovery of a preserved Platycarpus trachea revealed that mosasaurs had two lungs rather than one, meaning that their closest living relatives are monitor lizards rather than snakes. This has been debated for a long time. Preserved stomach contents and coprolites revealed that Platycarpus couldn't digest bone or any hard parts of its prey, such as fish scales. Instead, all of the indigestible parts pass through its system as waste. Preserved Platycarpus skin revealed that it had overlapping scales to reduce resistance while swimming. Its nostrils were at the very tip of the snout and sideways facing. This meant that it had a great sense of smell and could detect when an animal was bleeding and what direction it was in. 
The way Platycarpus' skeleton was constructed meant it was built for speed. While other mosasaurs could reach up to 30 miles per hour in short bursts, Platycarpus could do 40 and maintain it. This allowed it to chase down speedy fish and outswim predators such as Tylosaurus. Cretoxyrhina, however, was too fast for Platycarpus and would have been able to catch and eat it. Platycarpus may have been a threat to humans, or maybe not. There's no evidence to suggest that it fed on larger creatures such as reptiles, so it may not have gone after humans. Platycarpus was large and a danger to ancient fish, but there's a good chance it wouldn't even be interested in attacking humans. It certainly would still be able to kill us, but because of the uncertainty, Platycarpus takes third place. Additionally, Arctodus and Kalinkin were more powerful in terms of raw killing power. Watch out, here comes possibly the largest hypercarnivorous mammal ever. Magistotherium had a body up to 12 feet long with a tail adding an additional 6 feet to its length. It weighed up to 2,200 pounds. It lived 19 to 14 million years ago in Africa. Magistotherium was a gigantic hyenodont. It had a massive head compared to its body size. This was an adaptation for killing prey as it couldn't have used its claws to kill it because it wasn't designed for grappling. Its legs were used solely for locomotion. It could run up to 28 miles per hour, but not for long. It kept its average running speed at around 8 miles per hour. To catch prey, Magistotherium stalked it, then crept closer slowly, until within range to charge. Magistotherium would then burst from the shadows and run down its prey, then finish it with a bite to the skull. Its back molars were designed for crushing bones, and the premolars and carnassials for shearing meat. Magistotherium would have preyed on mastodons and other large mammals. An attack on a human would result in your skull being crushed, like a hippo crushes a watermelon. Magistotherium takes first, due to its size and killing ability. Arctodus slides into second, Kalenkin to third, and Platycarpus to fourth. Up next, Predator X. Pliosaurus reached lengths of up to 50 feet long and weighed up to 100,000 pounds. It lived 155 to 147 million years ago in Europe and South America. Pliosaurus is the most famous pliosaur and better known by the name Predator X. It had teeth up to a foot long that it used to kill its prey with. It had a bite force of over 145,000 newtons. Pliosaurus fed on anything it wanted, including plesiosaurs, other pliosaurs, ichthyosaurs, and even lead sicthes. The original skeleton of Predator X was fragmented into 20,000 pieces. It took a long time to reconstruct the parts that were there. Even though Pliosaurus itself was named in 1841, the species nicknamed Predator X, which was discovered in 2006, wasn't recognized as a species of Pliosaurus until 2012. This beast had a head over 10 feet long. That, combined with its bite force and massive teeth, would have allowed it to kill humans with ease. Pliosaurus was extremely dangerous. Being the apex predator of its time, nothing would try to compete with it. It rockets in the top spot, pushing Magistotherium, Arctodus, Kalenkin, and Platycarpus to second, third, fourth, and fifth, respectively. Our 72nd creature, the final one on our list, is coming in hot. Liopleurodon grew up to 25 meters, I mean 25 meters, excuse me, 25 feet long, and weighed up to 5,500 pounds. It lived 166 to 155 million years ago in Europe. This 25 meter, oops, I mean 25 foot long beast was a medium sized pliosaur and was an apex predator of the Jurassic period. It was a strong swimmer and an ambush hunter. It would accelerate forward to snatch prey. It had a strong sense of smell that it used to detect prey. Liopleurodon fed on cephalopods, fish, and marine reptiles. It had a powerful bite and teeth up to 8 inches long. Its bite force was up to 73,000 newtons. It could smell blood from a long ways away, just like modern sharks. The largest known Liopleurodon skull is only a little more than 4 feet long. This means you wouldn't fit in its mouth, resulting in you being ripped apart into smaller pieces to be swallowed. It fed on larger prey by twist feeding, where it would bite down and spin in a circle to twist off a chunk of flesh. Liopleurodon was like a scaled down version of Pliosaurus. While still deadly, it can't top its relative in first place. This results in it taking second. Magistotherium moves to number three, Arctodus to four, Kalinkin to five, and Platycarpus to six. Pliosaurus wins this episode and moves on to our finalists. 
Next episode on 72 Dangerous Animals Prehistory, our 12 finalists face off to decide which one is the ultimate human killing machine. There was a Karkara dinosaur named Sauroniops from North Africa. Its name means Eye of Sauron. In each episode, we will rank the creatures from 1 to 6 on a scale of how potentially dangerous these creatures would be to humans. And the winner of each episode will show down with the other 11 finalists in the season finale to decide on which prehistoric creature was the ultimate human killing machine.